Sive is definitely my coolest character. We like Sive. Been watching Cricket, she has an awesome voice. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can play some more Cricket here. This is just hard to play anything but Law. Oops, I just unplugged my headset again. But Scythe has some pretty big story stuff that might be coming to fruit. Which you'll see here in a second because there's going to be some telegrams. That's a really nice looking shirt. I like the shirt. Color depth on it and texture is really nice. Oh my goodness! It's hard to believe me or even understand. <clears throat> I'm not from New York and I ain't done no anything for anyone. My name is Butch Marlow and you and I have known each other for a long time. Your real name is Maeve O'Driscoll. You've told me stories about your life in Ireland and things that happened to your home and how you got the scars. I told you how I got mine in a jail cell in Rhodes and ever since then, you and I just don't know, I just I don't know, connected like fate pushed us together because it knew our suffering and knew together we made each other whole. I can't put into words what you've done to me and how much you mean because that would be a disservice to who you are. I brought you into Hagen when everyone told me you were a bad apple for robbing that lady. I fought for you then and I will still fight for you. Now, very long time ago we first met outside of the telegram office in Valentine where you asked me if if I were after you for stealing a horse or something. Then again in Rhodes' telegram office where you thought I was following you. I assured you that was not the case. We got to talking and I got the sense you were someone like me. So you, you asked to hang around with me and of course I said yes. After many months of doing criminal things together, one day in cell of Rhodes you revealed to me your story about what happened. After I questioned you because you kept touching your scars with a rich British man who burned your house down throwing a lantern inside exploding, which is where you got your scars. This struck something inside me as I felt your pain and sorrow. This is where I revealed my past and my scars along with my burnt face. I gave you a flower on top of Hag in our tent, the blue-eyed grass flower. I told you what it was to me and I gave it to you because that's who you are to me now. And that very same tent, I finally told you I loved you after being so scared to say it because of my past. We then had our first kiss. That feeling wasn't, was what I can describe. Okay, here's where Sive starts freaking out. As the sun hitting you for the first time in the morning, I just knew then and there that you and I were meant for each other. From then on, we stuck together to each other, nothing separating us. You were there when I, when my past came back to kill me in Strawberry and shot dead in the heart almost, but you were there to see, my, see me to my feet. I asked you to marry me inside a store robbery in Blackwater, and of course you said... You said yes. We then escaped and got away, then later had ourselves a train inspection. Oh my goodness. A train you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh. Guys, we get hearts in, in chat for a tray you. Much appreciated, man. That's you're way too generous. Thank you so Hi. much. How are you? Good, how are you? Not quite sure. I suppose I can't complain, though. I. You ever been stalked by someone before? Can't say I have. <laughs> Who's stalking you? Never you mind. Of course, you said yes. We then escaped and got away, then later had ourselves a train inspection. Quotes. Oh, headache. Then later turning ourselves in, we got put in Cisco where we had our wedding on the gallows. I thought it was fitting till death do us part and all. 
I tell you, like I said, before it's like fate knew we needed each other. It brought us together and we're bound by it. We can never lose each other. Catch you up at the office, uh, Phoenix. Even if we tried, we just somehow find a way back to each other as it did now. I've no reason to lie about these things, no gain from it. I don't work for nobody and I ain't from New York. We got separated in a flood, fleeing from the law a while back, and I've been searching for you a long, a long time for you, a very long time. I never gave up and I won't ever give up. Deep down, really deep down, you knew you know or feel. It to be true that there is truth to my words. There is something that is gnawing at you, something missing, and this is what it is. You are my missing piece, as I am yours to make each other whole. I will always love you, and I owe, and always have your back, even if you can't remember. You will always have my gun in my heart for whenever you need it. Love, Butch Marlowe. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for another little breakdown. <laughs> No, this is not so story time. Well, which I'll tell you while we make some moonshine. I need to go to my storage. Yeah, well, you're gonna. I'm gonna give you guys a little time to rob another bank solo. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna rob. We'll, we'll we'll do some moonshine. We might get caught. There's a good chance. I'll try and make we get caught. Oh, this horse is so pretty. Alright, so Scythe. I started playing her as Maeve O'Driscoll over on another server before playing on this server. Uh, she started out pretty much just robbing anyone that she could. Um, she had a big old chip on her shoulder, very intense dislike of the wealthy, um, and such. Uh, the scars on her face, when you see those, they're pretty horrific. Um, they wrap around the side of her face there. Um, in Ireland, there was a lot of, uh, persecution of, of the native Irish people, right? Um, there was famine, so she was born so that she was about... 11 years old during the last potato, potato famines in Ireland and at that time uh, the Irish farmers sharecropper types they could not afford to pay their rents on the land and the land the landowners could make more money selling them to the English renting the English for their cattle and stuff so a lot of Irish farmers were forced out of their homes and some of these were homes that they had been and you know generationally for over a hundred years uh, they're stone stone houses with thatch or turf roofs that could catch fire. Um, and one of the ways that, you know, if people wouldn't leave, they would literally burn the roofs off these houses to force them to leave. And so Sive's story is, of course, her family was refusing to leave. And she was in the house with her mother and her sister um, when the constabulary began burning the roof. They threw lanterns in through the windows and set things on fire. Um, she watched her mother and her sister burn to death and she got hit in the face with glass and, and burning fuel herself. So she grew up from the tender age of 11 with these horrific scars on her face and being poor, it's not like she could get good medical care. So there was infections and all sorts of stuff that left her pretty disfigured on the side of her face. And so she's always been, she's had that chip on the shoulder for what was done to her family and just that general feeling of complete lack of self-worth based off of those scars. Basically she believes she's not worthy of being cared for and she never will be. Um, and she's hurting, so she's just going to take what she can and forget what anybody thinks. Um, moved to New York uh, a few years after that with her father. Uh, I think, uh, you know, she just generally had a rough life there. Resorted to crime to survive and ended up bouncing from place to place until she ended up in the world of Red Dead, really. Um, so that's, that's, that's just the, like, the backstory for the character right furthermore the character had 
a time on another server where, I mean, <laughs> she started off robbing people and stuff and, um, you know, got retribution for that. But Butch Marlowe was someone who had actually lost his family in fire. His old gang came and burned his family to death in a house in front of them. And he eventually shared that story with Maeve, who Sive, um, and, you know, they connected over that, that loss. And the rest is history. Lots of bank robbery dates and being goofy criminals together. You guys will like Butch. He's, he's pretty hilarious. The Native Sands, are you, you Irish? I saw you said representing your people. But yeah, we moved servers and stuff. So, very cool, very cool. Yeah, one of my first mods is a fellow named Steven. He's actually from Ireland, and so he helped me with the historical. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Can I uh, can I help you? Uh, wait. Do you work here or something like that? Yeah. Um, I'm just cleaning up because it's been a little slow. Right. Right. Well, the thing is, I used to sort of run a and pour him in here and I've got some stuff stored down in the basement. I need to get down there and get it. Oh, okay. Hope you don't um, mind if I pop down there real quick. Um, I'll go down with if that's okay. Uh, we've just been, um... Well, I, I'm not gonna be touching oh. your stuff, mess. I, I just, know. I, I just need to get into my storage that's down there and maybe move it out. But I can't, I can't uh, remember what I've got. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is, is something happening um, up there? I think there's a horse on the roof. Uh. Uh, you might want to get up there and check that out. Thank you. Yeah, so that was coached by by someone in Ireland. Really trying to do a West Irish accent. Where is my storage? Oh, uh, no. Is that your horse? Uh, I believe it might be. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, maybe it's upstairs. Yeah, I tell you, when I first started this accent, it was, it was like painful. It was so hard because I was trying to do it well. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I trust you, but we've just had, um, a lot of, um, unsavory Tabs just uh, going downstairs without permission, so um, I would I would love to go down there with you, but that's completely fine. That's oh, right. I I found it here under the counter. Okay, great. Oh, uh, um, oh sorry, no. we're just hearing some strange it's, things. Oh, it's a are you interested in purchasing yep. oranges for your store? Where's this? Where's um, this it's horse? it's over at the water mill. Um, just walk out. Mill. Yeah, walk out there. You'll find it. Okay, thank you. I oranges. Um, I I've got I've got oranges. I've got hot apricots, and I've got uh, oat cakes for you. Oranges, apricots. Um, let. I don't. I don't think I have the authority to make those types of purchases. But um, if I could get your telegram number. No, um, I, I need to offload it right now. That's why I'm asking. Oh, I see. I see. Um, let's oranges. See. I do. Well, you want to, you want you to buy some oranges? For? I've got I've got thirty of them. Thirty oranges. Well, uh, how much for I ten? I would love um. Ah, uh, the same as as for for thirty of them. <laughs> uh, the same as thirty. Well, it, well, if you were gonna, you know, if you were gonna take these to that fella down there and and send me, he'd give you sixty dollars for him. But I'll give you a t ten for fifteen. Ten for fifteen. Okay, I can do that. Or, or more if you want more. No, I, I just need ten. Mm -hmm. All right, grand. There you go. You sure that? Yeah, no first. Just take, I can it. take it. All right. Ten off. Mm -hmm. Do you want I more? Think more I'll, than I'll ten? Take the other. Uh, I have seven. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm so sorry. I feel like oh, no. No. that will get me. No, a lot that's of okay. Um. Well, take a. No, it's okay. 
It happens. Like, here, I've got I've got ten right here left. If you want them. Mm. Okay, I would love that. Um, how much are you asking for? Oh, I uh was sold, selling them down for fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Perfect. Tanka. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone want some tens of apricots? You can't buy them in the store. Um. I'll take some for the store here. I, th I think that's that would be really lovely. Uh, sure, here, how about five dollars? Okay, perfect. Ooh. You can have those for. Thank you. My grand, thanks. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'll be safe. Hi, thanks. <laughs> wow, we just made bank selling some oranges. This is people like to like to interact. They were <laughs> I just wanted to get it out of my pocket so I can move stuff. <laughs> I know. Here's the thing. Fire cell sives orange for him, no kidding. So funny. So funny. I'm just gonna get rid of this. These I made these the hard way. I hunted all the fat for those. Yikes. <sighs> I need them. I should be able to get all the wheat out. Irish orange swindler. It's not swindling. I mean, that was all That was all purely... Uh, that's how much they wanted to pay for him. Like I said 15 and gave me 30 just to be nice, which people do all the time. People just need to be careful <laughs> where to put their horse. I know. Well... Do we know whose horse it is? Yeah, I know. Um, well, they I should just the they should just walk oh, over okay. to the stable and talk talk to them there. Would probably mm -hmm. uh, help out with that. Sorry, just need to yes. get the rest of my stuff out here. No worries. No worries. Oh. Then I'll be out here. Here. What is your name? <laughs> Name's Sive. Sive. Um, it's Sadie. It's nice to meet you. All right. Well, nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Grand. Mm -hmm. Good deal. All right. I'm gonna have to go somewhere and get sugar too. He did. He definitely did. <laughs> Those oranges have been there for like three months. <laughs> but we'll pretend they're fine. I can put labels on them and say candied oranges. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, grand is... Yeah, exactly. It's like, that's great, that's good. All that. It can be used sarcastically, though, too. Where do I want to go? Oh, I had space on my horse for... Right? If Sive comes back to Hagen and Bridger comes back, it'd be interesting how that pans out. I know. Because Bridger is very much the gritty sword. Uh, I think I think Hagen's here are going to be darker than they were on Wild West, just because that's the way Wild is. It's just it's just not. Um... Wild West had a lot more meme type. Uh, feel to a lot of the RP. Especially crim stuff. But even before I left, uh, Hagen's were starting to get a little bit darker. Hope Boy chases our next moonshine run. Yeah, hopefully I'll... I want to try and... I'm going to send some pre-notifications. Hopefully it'll... There's real evil here. It's the law! It's it's weird how after not using Sive's ac accent for so long, I can still do it. Like, it, it doesn't feel as natural, but I can still do it, which 
is cool because it took a lot of work to learn this, man. It took a lot of work to learn. So much work. Forget how fast these cobs actually are. Such a Sivey horse. How long do you think it took me to feel proficient at Sive's voice? A couple months. I was playing her a lot though. If you find like the early clips though, it sounds super rough. And you can tell that I'm having trouble like even speaking. I feel like I'm speaking another language and like I can't talk. I was super afraid of offending people. Like, my goal was not to sound like any kind of, uh, any kind of stereotype leprechaun kind of thing. I wanted the accent to feel pretty authentic. Well, it comes from another language that can- yeah, right. I mean, pretty much. Oh my goodness, I have freedom to run over these. I, I still don't like doing it, but it sure is convenient. Yeah, West Ireland is real old lands and language. Yep. She's supposed to be from Mayo County. Valley Castle. Valley Castle. Valley Castle. I don't know. I always know when I meet an actual Irish person because they see Sive and they start using Irish phrases with me. I give me an Irish test. <laughs> oh, there's someone here. Maybe. I should really go to the one in Cumberland. That's where I was operating before. Can I storage here? Uh, let's go to Cumberland. What should be the crow guy you're up the other day? Nah, that wasn't his horse. He had a different horse. His memory blew my mind. Blows my mind. <laughs> I just like horses, man. We crashed. I'm cold, I'm cold. I was just like, oh, there's a cute rubber ducky. And then I looked at it and the bill is chewed off because clearly a doggy found it. Dogs are Oh. I checked across my room into the garbage can and it actually like bounced off the wall into the garbage can. <laughs> I did so. No, okay. I, no one saw it, so it doesn't matter. It's just by my own. 
See you later, planet. Oh, man, I'm cold, guys. Cold. Sign this woman up for the NBA. Yeah, I haven't played basketball for like 20 years. When I was 10 years old, I loved basketball. My little league team was the best one in the entire league. They had to nerf us. We took down every team. We took down every single team. <laughs> Did really well. I remember when we had our end, end of the year, um, like award ceremony and stuff, you know, like they handed out the trophies because everyone got a trophy. Everyone got a trophy in early 2000. And uh, one of the girls on the team, I, I saw everyone get these really cool sparkly imitations. And the, except for I, I, I didn't get one of the cool sparkly imitations. It was one of the girls had a birthday party and invited everyone else on the team except for me. That's it. One of those memories you can rely on. Like if you need some tears, you just need to need to cry. That's one of the kind of memories you, you think about. Ten year old who doesn't get invited to the party. Well, I was homeschooled, right? And so my parents signed us up for like a, a league kind of thing so that we could do some sports. Did, like t-ball and stuff many steps to this right now. How do you feel about homeschooled now that you're grown? Oh, I am so glad I was homeschooled. Uh-oh. If I had kids right now, I would 100% homeschool, no question. Especially with the way stuff is right now, 100%. Oh, that's a poor fox, and I just killed it. There's wolves out here somewhere, though. I was homeschooled. I was the first homeschooler graduate to join USAF from Minneapolis MEPS. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, I, uh, I firmly believe that most people just need to learn the basics of English and um math you know and, and like history and stuff really not even difficult stuff that the majority of public school is literally just socialization and uh babysitting while parents are at work yeah i think my ideal my ideal would be to homeschool when younger and then allow them to take some different advanced classes in high school because when you homeschool you can just sign them up for like one or two high school classes at a public school or sports and stuff like that like you can hybrid you can do hybrid homeschooling like that but now i mean you can also do fully online learning too um there's just so many options now it's it's so much easier than it ever was so I would, I would 100% homeschool if I had the opportunity. I was homeschooled and it was really bad, but just because my parents didn't teach me anything. Yeah, see, I was always, I mean, I did a lot of what you would call unschooling, right? But I was very driven to learn stuff on my own. I was very driven. Like, I'd go to the library and get 20 buck, 20 books on the same subject. And I would go through those casually. Like, that was, it was entertaining for me to learn things. 
and I was always encouraged to learn things. Uh, explore history subjects that I was interested in, etc. Find a box that works. I think it's good, but you need to tailor it to the individual. These wolves, man. Where are they? They're chasing a they're chasing a deer is what they're doing. They're like not coming after me, they're out there, but they could aggro on me. Worst you can do is bore a child, in my opinion, sitting at a desk tends to do that. Yeah. And a lot of kids, a lot, I mean, not saying that there isn't disorders, like that there isn't disorders with ADHD and, and, and all that stuff, but I think a lot of it is just wiggly little boys. Like, they are made to wiggle. They are full of energy. They need to. And you can't expect them to act like little girls sitting quietly doing their work. All right, let's go get some sugar. Keeping a puppy in a cage and blaming it for wanting to play, yeah. And I think most, I mean, like I said, you don't need eight hours of school a day for as many years as they do. It's the, the reason why we have the school system we have is, is so parents have babysitting while they're working. Because you're going to learn, like, a ton of stuff in college when you hit college. Or even high school, if you're just going to do high school. I had a whole novel typed down to something I didn't post it on Twitch. <laughs> How's stream going? It's going alright. Hey, Phantom. We are just getting some stuff together for... It was like I was homeschooled and I went into and I went into like a an early start college program and got A's and B's right off the bat. Like the big the biggest thing for entering college is is going to be having good reading reading comprehension and writing skills because everything else you're you know you're gonna learn
Yeah, I had a hard time in college just because math. I was doing advanced math stuff. I wanted to be a veterinarian. <sighs> and I got through some pretty advanced math levels, but... I basically kind of have a panic attack just trying to do math classes. I do fine. I Like, I could figure it out and stuff, but in the exams, I always did poorly. Because it felt like, you know, my entire future was riding on it. So cold. I don't want to turn on my heater and have all the fan noise. Oh yeah, the common core weird stuff. Hey cheeky. Yeah, I need to be walked through the processes of doing it to to be able to get it down and, and do it. Yeah, it doesn't work, Caleb. Dude, I wear a robe thing. It's a it's like a snuggie. Kind of. It's a poncho. It's a blanket poncho and it's fuzzy. S yeah, Ferris, that's that's what I need. And, it, and, that, and the robe doesn't do anything for my cold, icy fingers. So, you know. But I am going to... I mean, you're sitting and you're not moving. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Nearly spilled my coffee. Yeah, I always liked history. History is always interesting to me. You know, I try and play somewhat historic, historically accurate characters here when I can. No, they are not in the moment. But I'm tucking this Pendleton all around me. Yeah, nice. Little blanket. Hey, night voice. Yeah, I had to take like two of my calculus classes twice. It was horrible. It was horrible. I have a nice thick wool blanket. I need to focus that hot air coming from the computer somehow. <laughs> Literally, I used to hug the bottom of my laptop. I would snuggle my laptop to stay warm. But now I don't use my laptop, so... I did a lot of focus on World War II history.
Because that's what I was interested in. I made it to nine, grade 9 in high school because I ended up getting adult responses thrown at me quite early. Mm. My mom would pay me to babysit my siblings by uh, getting me books that I wanted. Mainly stuff by Brian Jakes. I did like the Red Wall series. That's that's what I liked. Are he gonna bait in the trough? Yeah, I liked Redwall, I liked Harry Potter a lot. Narnia. Really like Narnia. I always wanted to write a Narnia type style book. Cause to me it was it was just that story of being Why am I coming here? Oh yes, to send an anon on myself. Keep it to a trot? I don't think so. Howdy, ma'am. How are you? Yeah, I always I I read the books. It was always the books for me. Cause the uh, the whole idea of Narnia, right, is is just ordinary kids pulled out of the real world into a fantasy world. You know, and that that's what I want. I I wanted to live, you know, Lord of the Rings and and everything. So I can tell you my feeling when I went to Nepal. And it was literally just like an entirely different world. I was there for about two and a half months and my teammates were counting down the days till they got to go back home till they didn't have to eat rice and lentils every day. And for me, like I missed home, but it was very much this feeling of, um, you know, how do I go back to a normal life after seeing this? Because that was always the feeling I had for the characters in the books, was that they're gonna, they're gonna... <sighs> Whoa. They're gonna have to go back from living this extraordinary life to living a normal life. And that was my perspective on leaving Nepal. It was like, 
I'm leaving Narnia. It was sad. Oh yeah, Cash getting Bridger for that is beautiful. Is it real though? Bridger might just decide he wants to murder Sai. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Do I want to get stalked and hunted by Bridger? I don't know. I don't think so. That sounds really scary. You guys remember that one time I saw Klaus when I was on Holly alone in the desert? That group was so flippy, flip floppy most days, it could have left me with a headache. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Bridger and Jody just did not get along. Yeah, when we saw Klaus! Scythe hasn't done anything to Bridger. It's just Bridger's a very, very rough character, right? And if he comes back and he gets... Um, he gets nabbed for shooting Cash, he might decide that the only reason... Yeah! Jam knows how to track people! He's scary! I don't <laughs> He's mean. No, J Jan's a nice guy, but his characters are are meanie heads and scary. <laughs> He's also quite yeah. He can get anyone to just go along with him. Jody was chaotic good, Bridger was chaotic evil. They could, they just couldn't get along. What would you call Scythe? <laughs> Angry? <laughs> chaotic neutral, neutral evil, depending. Celtic evil. <laughs> Side with chaotic belts. I don't know what you're talking about. They're a reasonable number number of buckles. That's right. You tell them. It was always such a great running joke. I think I can't remember how many I counted. It's on one outfit, though, because I had the vest and the coat with the buckles on the arms. Disappointed they never really got to be used for tourniquets, though. <laughs> I think, yeah, I feel like it was 37. It's only 37, all right. Yes, they did act as armor against the bear attack. <laughs> Why did this is the hardest one for them to get? <sighs> but 
but I already committed to doing this one. Well, we'll see if I even can do this one. Thirty-nine buckles. You just found it, or something? <laughs> oh yeah, so I have thirty-nine buckles of Brian was a YouTube video. <laughs> Hoping for that Euro Pan gang to come back together. Hey, oh. got a little job for you. Goodness, hoop. Hey. I can kind of adjust that myself, but then it, it turns down. This is the same volume for like um, ticks on the, what you call it? Where is this going? This is going to Thieves Landing, right? Yep. I made Jam chuckle, too. Since my black bars cover it, just so you know, I have a 10 minute timer right now. 10 minutes left on my timer. just riding straight through the rigs area because they like to sit there. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're right there. Oh, funny, they're right there. I'm 
I don't know if they saw me though. Is it possible they didn't see me? There's no way. How did they not see me? Oh, my heart's pounding. Like, I want to get a chase. But, like, when you see them clear as day. Whew. Apparently belts also act as camouflage. Aw, oh, man, I was, okay, well, all right. I shouldn't have turned off, but I saw them. But I saw them, like I saw them, so I can't, I, you know, why would, why would Sive go? Yeah, I kind of, I should have chosen it coming from Thieves. I kind of feel bad now, because that one's it's just so hard. And they were waiting at the right spot. I mean, I know how to avoid that spot. <laughs> I can 100% avoid that spot if I want to, um, but I, yeah. Yes, Crypt it is. I did say it would be coming from Cattail though, essentially. But if they're not paying attention, then maybe they wouldn't know. Yeah, but you see, I wanted the chase. Oh well, that pays some of our, our fines, I guess. You don't look like you're having the grandest of days, do you? Oh dear. Ah, uh, well, there isn't too much I can do for that. Alright, bud, well, guess you're lucky I'm not to sort to last just leave someone laying here to die. <gasps> okay. <coughs> Alright, up. Up, here you go. Yeah, he might have been. Who knows?
Listen, I just, I just feel bad. Oh, let's see. That true, yes. That that is true. I can get future favors. What do I do with these fella? Well, he wasn't. He didn't have any overt like bleeding injuries. He's just like totally bashed and beaten up. Well, hopefully you're lucky and there's some doctors here in town. Now that could be the pirate's horse right there. <gasps> I'm sorry, dog! Okay, he's fine. All right, any doctors around here? Ah, uh, eater you doctors. No, we ain't. All right, well, that's unfortunate for you, buddy know what I can do for you. Let's see what we can find. Oh! Here. All right, well, I sent a, a sent a telegram to the law folks, sorry. All right. All right, doctor's about. I'm trying to get one. Yeah, thanks. Oh man, when's the barrel races? Yeah, I should probably swap over to Saffron for the barrel races. <laughs> thanks, Knight. We officially meet the bare minimum uh, requirements for... Of course, the large character has potatoes in her bank. <laughs> listen, listen, they're really hard to find, okay? Oh, 
Hey, you okay there? Only you okay, dummy. buddy? He sort of looks like he got trampled by a horde of horses or something Ow. like that. Oh, shit. One in his back, that's gonna be a bit harder to do. He heard. Uh, at least he ain't choking on his blood like this. I'm not choking on my blood. Uh, not you, sir. There's another gentleman in here. Oh, there's another one? We just thought that weird noise was his wound speaking. No, I, I told you that an anon was sent for another gentleman that was injured over here. Oh, I thought you oh. meant the same person. Yeah, no, I, there's, there's I two. My leg, my there. No, I, there's two I found that one laying in Teve's Landing. Oh, shit. That one that's been shot, and then there's one in the tent that looks like he was trampled by horses. All right, well, I God, damn it, do nope. need to swap to Saffron. Yeah, there's a famine out there. Well, not anymore. Oh? My goodness. What is happening? Why were there so many gunshots? Are you kidding me? I have to like take a five minute be between swapping. Because Saffron's going to be here in the same town. I don't want to meta by accident. Japanese change. What's that? Do you have any change, Senora? I don't think so. Spare some change or some couple of clothes or some couple of food. That'd be great. No, but I could pay a wee bit if you come help me out with something. Ah, uh, what kind of what kind of job you want for me? Well, just a wee bit of peck and some wheat. Maybe something else. Depends on what you're interested in. Oh, oh, where is that at? Well, I'm off to the Heartlands right now for it. The oh, Heartlands? That's, that's a long way. I don't right. have a horse. Well, do you want do you want something? You, do you want money or not? Something to eat? I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for you for next time. Oh, appreciate it for giving me trying to give me a job. I just need some couple of cents, like I can make some food. I can take you out there himself. Bring you back, Everton. But I'm All waiting right. for other friends. All right, well. S sorry, senora, thank you. Fine. Don't come do crime with me. I should rob someone. If I find someone that is like, that would be good to rob, I should, I should rob them. Oh, wow. Ah! 
Ow. Ow. That clothesline. I don't have bandages. Okay. I went the wrong way and I got clothesline. isn't a wheat thief. <laughs> I didn't ask him to steal to steal wheat. This is Sive O'Brien. She is a criminal. Owns weeds, what you do with it, that's illegal. <laughs> this would be annoying because I'm going to ride all the way out to get wheat. But I'm going to end up going um, back to Thieves Landing because I want to run from Thieves Landing. I don't want to run from Lemoyne because there's not enough time to mess with deputies or do anything. Imagine Jack Crow's there again. It could be a team up. He did not seem at all miffed that I stole his wheat. <laughs> I don't think Mika's actually gotten to see Moonshed run, so hopefully she goes for it. Yeah, my goal is to sort of try and get caught. Or at least have a good chase. Long dusk and void on the investigation. Very much doubt they'd be the ones to respond. Yeah. Not filling. It's very annoying. I'll probably be Kai again, which would be quite funny. Oh <laughs> man, Kai. And then he's gonna find me so hard and just slap me in prison forever.
Right. Wait, could I get five bags of sugar, please? This is the thing that Billy Blast is on. And I'll... And I'll have you know, Clyde loved it. He did. You should. Oh, wait, oh, that. Whoops. Whatever. What I need is bandages. I'm saying it in game when I do that, and I'm saying it loudly so someone maybe hears me. That's the nicest cheap repeater I've seen. <laughs> yep. I know if it gets stolen from me, they'll only get charged for 48 bucks. save a lot of time. Uh, yeah, I don't have to pick very much. Uh, they're scaring her, right? She's she's freaked out. Just imagine, from her perspective, she's someone who doesn't think that it's possible for her to be valued. You know, she doesn't think it's possible for someone to value her. And then she gets a bunch of telegrams like that from someone who's obsessing over her. The gut reaction is not to trust something like that. But he knows a lot of stuff he shouldn't know.
And so if, if you don't, if you don't believe yourself to hold any value and you see someone else suddenly thinking that you have a lot of value, you're going to assume that they're just, they're just lying to you or, or trying to trick you or, or something. It's hard to look at it any other way. We're going to have to have some face to face for it to really sink in for her. I'm hoping I, that he'll play a little bit more and he'll he'll kidnap her or something like that just to talk cuz that'd be lots of fun obviously. Apparently my emotes are broken. He's right. Sherry knows there's something, there's something wrong, something that's freaking her out, and she hasn't been able to put a finger on it. But it, it's hard because Sive hasn't RP'd with anyone on a deeper level for a, a while, so it's hard for me as an RPer to get back into it. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity soon enough. Because she's not going to go around like displaying her inner turmoil to everyone. If she can help it. And she's got to keep up those shields. Be untouchable. try to be. Yep, she has no reason to open up to anyone at the moment, correct. That's not how you survive. would be really good if Bridger did come back and she started talking she's like uh, uh, what do I make of this I don't understand he's told me all this stuff and and freaking out Well, not even that, she had run into Butch. So she ran into Butch. And that that touched something in her mind. You know, there's a familiarity. Yeah, Blum has been around. Morgan, she doesn't necessarily... <coughs> it's a hard thing. Uh, this is a Irish cob. Yeah, I think there could be some it could be something interesting if Bridger somehow got involved. I just wouldn't want him to kill Butch <laughs> over a misunderstanding, you know. You got shot. But I'm sure his reaction would be, you know, like this guy's clearly crazy. He's stalking you. We should kill him. That's that's what I would assume Bridger's reaction would be.
I'm so cold. It's just a weird day, you know? This is rainy and sun's not out and it's almost June now, guys. My birthday is next month. Well, I'm gonna be even older, officially. Constructed. I'm just afraid I'm gonna blink and I'll be in my 40s and nothing will have changed. That's what happened in my 20s. OT O2 Gen O2 Gen Interesting Oxygen I mean it's true though, you know? We better have enough. Yeah, we'll have enough. Whew. All right, let's try and send a pre-anon and hopefully <coughs> it'll not be too early. But not also not lead to us getting immediately caught. I'll put it in the simplest way I can, Caleb. 
everything I feel like or felt like I would have wanted is also basically impossible, so. And I've watched dream after dream die. So I don't like to make plans anymore because it just hurts too much. Uh, how ya? Is that save? Who's asking? Sheriff Rabbit. Nice to see you. Were you a sheriff before? I don't rightly know when before would be, so mayhap, mayhap not. Nice to see you as well. Where are you off to? I'm heading to Blackwater. Wait, you're a sheriff? Does that mean you get one of those pump shotguns? Just curious. Yeah, in theory it would, but uh, at the moment it probably snapped my wrist in half, so uh... Oh no, no one would want that to be happening. <laughs> no, not just yet, no. <laughs> but I, in theory, I'd carry a pump with me. <laughs> I'm just curious, you know. If I see any purple masked raiders in the hell looking at my shotgun, I'm gonna, uh, take that into consideration, alright? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by purple masked? This is just a bandana. I, I don't know if any folk were, I don't know, flying a purple flag in the wind and scoping out my shotgun with a pair of binoculars. I might, uh -huh. I might make, you know, I might connect some dots. That's all I'm uh -huh. saying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, nice, nice to see you too as well. It's real good to be, you know... You brought the shotgun. I was, it was, I was making small talk last. It was a wee conversational piece. It didn't feel like it. <laughs> not trotting and not a ton. Have a grand day. Yeah, you too. You take care. Uh, I'm getting called for dinner, guys. I can't do this yet. I'm gonna have to... I'll have to wait. Um... <laughs> Can I say Cyber's a mess? <laughs> I can try leaving a compilation running for you guys. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. Thorn threatens Seth and Sai threatens Rabbit. Noise. I was not threatening. I was just asking a general question. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can set up a compilation. Uh, crypt, pick one. I don't know. Or no, no. We should we just do the the run the run the um. Yes, I was about to anon that I was brewing and then go down there and brew. You guys want to watch the last vod? YouTube. Well, uh, there's a thing that automatically plays clips. I think it might be too long. Hang on. Top clips. Do you have a link, Crypt? Can you throw me a link? Of the week, maybe? Would there not be enough, though? <laughs> or the month? Month is probably good. You guys are getting a lot of repeats, probably. Perfect.
Okay. That'll wake you up. Well, I'm not. I'm not sleepy, really. I'm just tired. Yeah. Alright, guys. Wait, I did see Raider. He fucking turned into me. <laughs> he actually turned and beeline it for me. I just sort of did a, a barrel race and turned around him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that scream, though. No Boyd's a good person, he just wears a badge, and I guess you don't see eye to eye with that. But I just want to tell you, you're wrong. He's my only friend. And oh. I'd have his back. Oh. I'd have Boyd's back regardless, because he's my friend. And he's a. I told you, Audrey does. Well, I'm just telling you, you know, maybe you shouldn't be so mean to him all the time. Don't be so mean to him all the time. I did. <laughs> this is great. Okay. The hell? Stop running. What's going on? Uh, is that peaches? Ugh. Shit, okay. I'll check the bag. Check around. Make sure. To, let me. I'll. I'll see if she's okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. <laughs> I did not mean to clobber her. Oh my goodness! They've act, they've actually come over here. Oh, if only we're not too late. Oh, we should have come here. Ages ago. Saints cross the show. Saints cross the show. Hands, 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 hands up. Goes up there at the top. Boyd. What? She wants me to lick her clavicle. Okay. All right. Dust, I have no answer Dust, for just, that. Just, just. I'll keep her. Just no, no. Okay. All right. All right. Just let her talk. Let her talk. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, where's she going? She's speaking so with. She's speaking with Sloane. Why did she yell at Boyd before she said that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're her emotional support. I also just went in there Hi. to get money for the sale. Oh, you're going inside. SCSD, is there anybody inside? I'll cover you if you want to open that door. I don't see anyone through this part. Did you open the door? I did. Oh, okay. If there's anyone inside, you better be making yourself known. That uh, looks pretty clear. Oh! <coughs> Sir? What? Uh, it's possible that I might have missed something when clearing her, because you know what Speedy did? He rushed in here and I already charged him for tr trespassing. Uh, are we able to rope him? What? Did you feel Did brave you... while while staying in front of him? No, I felt a lot of fucking pain as I was on the ground bleeding. Okay, well, uh, well I was 
You don't help him. Why are you talking about bad things for? No, I'm trying to find a, 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 a memory that Talk when you were afraid. Talk about something else. That's all shooting. Come on. Well, you're the one who brought up shooting. I said find a, a you, memory when you were afraid for the week. Done this week. Yeah, okay. So uh, what, what have you felt very, very brave? <clears throat> Just, just, just remember just, that and uh, hold on to that fuck. feeling. This do you know? And just think of a happy place with flowers and, and ponies. What the flowers? And what are you like, fucking talking about? I'm trying to distract you, you ungrateful fuck. Uh, now listen. Shut up. Stop whining. Be a deputy and a grown ass man. <gasps> I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna get up. up. You want to you piece of me? Put the fucking boss did you. Put the fucking boss bit. Boyd, no. Listen, I'm just trying to distract you, all right? You're the one yelling at me, all right? Okay? You can do this. Um, I'm going to say that. Again, on like, that. But a 10 on your chest. I think we've got six deputies oh. here. Oh, Seven God. Deputies here. And two cadets. We've been done. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to one up you again. Okay. Uh, no, which one of you spotted the ones that were looking There's no one open. So That's just congratulations. Okay. Spotted separate ones. Um, okay. I think Boyd has a better idea of what they actually look like than I do. Um, so he might be able to recognize right. but other ones. But... Boyd, admire your new fucking silverware later. Get your ass over here. <laughs> I also yes, know sir. what they look like, but I know them by name. Yeah. I got a pretty good way of reading people. Right, right. I just saw you standing there, thought I'd say hi. Yeah, I was just enjoying the nice music. That's all like a simple gentleman would do. Right, a g gentle man lady. I, I almost forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. Gentle man lady? What the hell are you talking about? I've still got your telegrams, Tommy. You said, I'm a gentle man lady. That is the words that you wrote to me. I never said that. You want me to show you the telegram? No. Okay, well. So what, you want to go out again? Absolutely not. Nope, I think I think we're grand. That ship sailed, Tommy. No one needs to go back to that place ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Team speak lag, guys. I, I was not touching anything. <clears throat> hey, do you guys have any Sissica horror stories? I think that was my leg. It was uh -huh. starting to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, the team, no, the team speak has been has been doing yeah, weird things Sisko all night. My Cisco horror story is going to Cisco for nothing. Watch out! <coughs> oh no, that that doesn't look too good. Frankie, <laughs> Frankie. Ah, uh, is, is the last gonna be all right? Uh, <gasps> does he have a bunch? <gasps> yeah. Okay, looks like she's just winded. Just give her a second here. I'll help her get up. Uh, who? What's your name? You know, I don't think that's important at the moment. I'm sorry about that, though. Good luck, I. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Two people. <laughs> okay, how does it? Okay, did you want me to? No, that's fine. I got your complaint. Fuck off. Okay. Did you need my information? Or? No, it's fine. I know who you are, Lollipop. Okay. Oh, they, hey, that deputy's in there. Can you ask her if she's? Consider my offer of lollipop. Oh, well, who's the woman on the back of your horn? Oh, this is Annie. Hey, Annie, this fella's probably gonna cheat on you. Just saying. No. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he'll leave you high and dry. Well, he'll definitely leave you dry. That's for sure. <laughs> <coughs> Come on inside, deputies. We got things to do. What does he mean? <laughs> you need to make like a tree and get the fuck out of here, Shield. Right. I got things to do. Okay, sounds good. Good seeing you, Marty. I wish I could say the same. Okay. You said Why the last heck time. is there a pronghorn? Goodbye, lollipop and shield. What do you do with this dead hey, animal? You too. Who's that? Are you sure? Lith, thank you so much for the raid. 
I hope you had a good oh. stream. Yeah, what? yeah, that, yeah there's some kind of barbarian raid oh. going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah there there was, uh, How do they hide <laughs> like that? <laughs> there's some kind of raid it? in the shrubbery, it sounds like. Yeah, we just missed it. I want to escape. Ah! Yeah, that's all right, Mitch. You just took a lot of pressure off of me. I'll tell you that much right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. I'm going to get you. Watch where you're putting your hands, bud. Okay. You stow it. All right. I'm going to get you up. I'm going to find you. And we can it. chalk this up to you being really lucky that I'm not sticking you in cell. You don't huh? have to find me. To I, I could have run you over and I chose not to. Okay. What do you mean you could have ran me over? I was behind you the whole I, time. Have you seen the moves I can pull with those things? I've, I've seen it. it. It fucking landed you off the side of the fucking cliff. <laughs> okay, so I, that, it's not really a threat. I wasn't threatening. I was just saying what I could have done. Come on, Kaya. I, if you look at the paperwork... I have haven't done in a tent for a real long time. Things have been that's hard. why I'm just that's why I'm just finding you. Do you would you would you rather stay in a cell for thirty odd days? Take me over to stables really quick. Uh, yeah, stay right there. Perfect. I can't, I can't. No, stay right, wait, there. I can't. stay right there. You're fine. I'm not. Work those wait. arms out. Work those arms out. That's good for your core strength. I think I'm how I'm gonna go off. You gotta get off, don't worry. <laughs> All right. If something's wrong. I might need to take a nap. There you go. Wait, Hold on, stay there. Uh -huh. I'll help you. Uh-huh. Um. Ah! Oh, there, okay. you, there you go. I'm not... Hey, it's better. Get over here. Okay. <laughs> gonna check on my girl. I just got out of Sissica two years. That's my Tommy Two Snakes impression. I'm gonna have fucking nightmares of this Mills name for the rest of my fucking life. What do you mean? Why? I just feel like we've been searching for him for so goddamn long. Is it the first patrol neither? Aye. <laughs> All right. Mills, Mills, I'll just Mills. feel really good when you finally got to bring him in. Yep. All right, we have everyone. You also could have stopped when we spoke to you, not run away. I ran like two feet, it's and I went inside the bank. And then you hold up inside the bank. I mean, it's not, it's not running through the alleyway. You was having to come rope me and whatever, and tackle me down. Maybe you guys getting stabbed or whatnot. Come on, I literally walked around the corner basically. I think there was other reasons for that. You were breathing very heavy inside that bank, Cesare. You calling me fat? No, I said you had a breath. <laughs> you okay. Listen, it's just a, just a reaction, okay? Well, you, you run with unique too with any tight pants. You're kind of shuffling down the street at a brisk pace. You know how hard it is to run in these shoes? Come yeah, on. That's what I'm saying. Why are you running in the, in the, in the suit for? I was, I was tactically walking away, okay? Practically. Well, that, that right there is the mission of it being deliberate of getting away from us. I, but I turned, I... I, I conceded. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I ain't gonna shoot law today. You good there? Uh-huh. You got shot. <laughs> I'm fine. Let's go. Get your hands stuck in the uh <laughs> the motor there. No, I don't. I'm fine. Maybe you're going. Hey, I'm not back. Gonna back to jail. It's water. Give me. Is that neat, Casey? Stop. 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 Neat. Stop. Uh, uh. Stop. I can't even see anything in these bushes. Hey! Hey! Don't get him up! 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 Get up! Fuck. <laughs> 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 Involved, calm down, just calm down, mate. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> look after, look after uh, yeah, I got him. I got him. Uh, come on. Fuck All right, 
Okay. Well, they always have to make it hard, don't they? <laughs> yeah. All right. Someone send him clips of me right. laughing my head off. It's all right. We're, we're, we're not allowed to compete next week. Is that what you were saying? Uh, no, no, no. We can compete. We just might not uh, win the prize. She's she's trying to work out it's just some way to keep people still coming because we're we've got a good second on everyone else, you know. So yeah. Uh, uh, maybe yeah. Let us race for the the record, I suppose. Uh huh. And then like every second week we can compete for the prize. I don't know. Aye, something like that. I, I was suggesting to her something like that because I didn't want to be coming there and just taking the prize every time. Do you suggest this? I did, because I didn't... Yeah, this was my main... That was my main fucking... In oh, I just realised, no, I think the, the time was... My previous record was 0.72. I think it got 0.72... And so I absolutely... Last week. I absolutely murdered the record by going to five nine. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was... It was quite a lot. <laughs> what you know, I hate this more than I could ever explain, okay? More than I could ever explain to you. <laughs> well, I didn't even... Okay, hold on. Let me look at the book. Let me look at the book. We, 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 listen, she break... We, we, we have to get talking about the record. We still talk about the record. No, 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 get, no, 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 no. Hold on. It, on the first, it was 13 points. Yeah, so you tied her record two weeks after she got it, which I did not realize. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. So that's actually damn... That's actually damn good. So now you just... And then you're consistent. It was 13.72 and then 13.73. So... It's not bad. <laughs> so you are doing really well. Let's get them lined up down here. Start packing their wounds. All right. I've got Sloan and Kaneklo up here. What did I do? <laughs> you shot at what us. What did I do? Fuck off. I have a hard time <laughs> open not fired laughing. on us. Okay. I think we did our jobs. Wow. I think you open fired on a bunch of fucking civilians. <laughs> okay. Uh. Are you able to hear me, oh, Claymore? Ah, oh, little gentleman gang sips. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No such thing. <clears throat> All right, let's do this moonshine run. <laughs> Am I feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Just a little bored. I'm cold. I'm really cold. <sighs> I just wish that there was more crime for me to fight. More stuff to do as a deputy. But I'm gonna go do some crime. To make up for that.
Right. All the Crimson Gang will get out at the same time. Sounds about right. Yeah, I'll rest myself. That sounds perfect. Wolves howling. What's my favorite snack? Boy, it really depends. I like potato chips, salt and vinegar potato chips. Those kettle, those kettle chips that are cr crinkle cut and have the black pepper on them. Or there's this Tim's jalapeno chips. Those are great really spicy jalapeno or jalapeno Cheetos are fantastic. Please no evil kitty. I like stuff with big flavor. Oh, that sounds great except for the spicy bits. Nah, spicy's great in the right amounts. And here's the thing is that the black pepper kettle brand chips actually have liberal amounts of jalapeno flavor in them. That's why they're so, they're so good. <laughs> I wouldn't qualify those as being explicitly spicy though. Back when I did a lot of cooking, I put jalapeno powder in a lot of stuff. Spaghetti. Honestly, it's just a lot of things. Jalapeno has a lot of like umami kind of, you know, natural MSG in it. So it really amps up the flavor. Sure, it would be. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, that's on my horse. Fail. Of course, now my horse isn't gonna come. I'm gonna have to go to the stables. Hey, the law wouldn't have nothing at that point. Unless they searched me and found the mash. If they come to clear it, what should I do? Should I like lay on my belly in the back and see if they don't find me? I think it'd be very thrilling for whoever shows up. Kinda hope they show up. That can be funny. But maybe, I don't think you're running the bar, but maybe that's worse charges, trying to sell moonshine instead of just having it. <laughs> For 50 bucks to do no questions asked transaction. 
<laughs> yeah. No, I don't know what's in here. And they'll be like, you were caught moonshining yesterday, Sive. Why would we believe you, Sive? What time is it? All right, so they gotten that some 10 minutes ago. Hey, got a little job for ya. My horse is literally in the way of the cart. Oh my goodness. really annoying. <laughs> Finally. What? No! No! Oh, man. Okay. Let's try from Manzanita, I guess, to Lemoyne. It says it's too hot. Which means someone else ran from it recently, I guess? Maybe? It could be because I tried to start it and then couldn't and then start it again. I think it's like a, it's a two hour timer on each individual location. Could have bugged it though. One woman, her mission to run moonshine. Hey, oh my got a little job for ya. Because I just can't play around on this route too much. Because there's literally not much time. Shiner.
This root is actually hard to hide on. Oh, I should have gone around the other way. Why didn't I do that? It's fine. If there's anyone out looking, we'll probably get a cow right up here. Most people try and beat us to the, sh the shack. Because there's a spot in the swamps where you can look out and almost just... There they are. They're going here or there. It was you? What do you mean? How did they not give chase? This route is so cruelly long, there ain't no plane around time. Because you have the same amount of same timer. There were so many people there! <laughs> no, this is not a good way to go. Oh yeah.
running out of time. Five minutes left. If Wanted is on, he might come out to wait at this spot. So he knows this spot. Turn a fire around. It's where I can't shoot while I'm in the wagon. I'll have to stop. Get off the wagon. Fire around over their heads. Get back on the wagon and start running away. Do you realize how stupid that would be? I've had deputies sit right here on the tracks waiting. Which looks like they're not here right now. See the red glow of my goal seeping through the fog of the f of the swamps. You can see it there, just a little red dot. I guess I'm gonna have to watch that. <laughs> well. field. I know, right? Can you imagine if I just laid it on its side right there? <laughs> Time for law. Squirt back to a bank. Yeah, right? That's happened before. Oh yeah, no, they're all individual characters, which is great. Might just be punishing myself to try and pick these oranges. Because, um, we go back to Valentine. We might just crash on entry. But well, we'll see. Yeah, that one's fun, isn't it? Okay, yeah, let's look at the clip. I need to fix everything. All right, I just want to confirm some things, then I'll let you get back on your way. Ah, uh, Shiner! Are you fucking kidding Whoa. me right now? For Christ's oh, sake, really? Look, look at that move, Well, Pavis, we have something to do. Go! Well, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's probably from Mr. All right, I just want to confirm some things, then... Oh, <laughs> 
imagine Pip gets an gets moonshining added to, to his charges. <laughs> imagine he gets moonshining added to his charges because Pavis quote unquote saw him. <laughs> <laughs> it would be kind of amazing. Kind of actually hilarious. And he's always moonshining, so he can't even deny it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Imagine thinking you could catch even a mere glimpse hey, of got a little job Pip for doing ya. shine. We've seen him turn it in before. We've seen him fly around the corner. Alright! Disappear. I've delivered a lot. Probably not that many, but a lot. I, uh... I didn't bother to keep track, though. I basically can... I mean, if I want to do it and not get caught, it's pretty easy to do it and not get caught. I... I definitely try and get caught. Like, right there, I was trying to get caught. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> they sure weren't fast on the draw. It's hilarious though, man. It's so funny. I try and be seen at least. Which I don't know how they wouldn't because that's like the most obvious, most direct route for that, that path. Yeah, I can't catch up for some reason. Well, he's ahead of me, so he'll probably get there first. And he is shortcutting. Like, he's somehow going faster than me. I don't know. I can't go faster than I am.
Maybe they'll bubble crash and you won't? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, not to wish that on them, but yeah. I'm afraid I'll just bubble crash going into in here and lose the load. sit here until he ran out. <laughs> That'd be evil. Oh, I should rob him, but I need to go watch the movie. Okay. It'd be perfect to just rob him of, of the money he got. Oh, just how you somebody over. Oh. Uh, well, uh, Stranger Things, uh, the show. I'm gonna watch a show. Go watch a show. If they haven't started without me. Actually, I'm a, before I turn off, I'm gonna check whether or not they started without me. Because if they started without me, it's over. I'm not watching it with the family anymore. <laughs> never realized that there is a sort of interior. I bet you can see something here in single player. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna go check real quick. I'm probably gonna be ending, but let me go see if my family has abandoned me yet or not. Did not start without me. So, let me find someone to read.
Yeah, I was about to say I'll break flicker. Hey, hey, get off my dog! Get off! This is not for doggies! Get off this blanket! You stay, this is expensive wool blanket, not for doggies. Yeah, not for doggies. I know, I'll be down in a second, puppies. Yeah, I'll send you guys off to Flickr here in a second. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're such a menace. My dog's a menace, and it's great. All right, guys, go give Sheriff Rabbit some love. See you again tomorrow night.